a useful reaction in organic chemistry in the area of organophosphorus chemistry is the Arbuzov reaction. What is the Arbuzov reaction? Well, the Arbuzov reaction starts with a reagent called triethylphosphite. And here is triethylphosphite. You don't have to start with triethylphosphite. You could start with trimethylphosphite or tri other R groups on the uh, oxygens, but almost everybody uses triethylphosphite. So we're going to react triethylphosphite with an alkyl halide. Typically it's a primary halide, and you may have seen triphenylphosphine react with primary halides. Triethylphosphite does the same chemistry, nucleophilic phosphorus, kicks out the bromide. This is just an SN2, and we get this species. I'm going to draw one of these ethyls off in its full structure. And the phosphorus has a positive charge because it lost its lone pair to make a sigma bond. This bromide um, that's liberated is actually nucleophilic enough to attack that neighboring carbon on the ethyl group and make a PO double bond. So basically this whole, this thing becomes a leaving group off of this starred carbon of the ethyl group. And what that gives us this structure. Now we also lose ethyl bromide, but we're normally not concerned about that, so we're going to ignore that and focus on this thing over here. This is a, it's called a phosphonate ester. Um, and these names get a little cumbersome, um, you know, this is different from a phosphate this is phosphoric acid, but all these phosphorus have little different names based on how many R carbon groups or oxygens are attached to the phosphorus. Okay, great. We have our phosphonate ester. Now, I mentioned before, um, middle of the screen, this we're restricted in this SN2 reaction for a primary halide. Well, as it turns out, in general, um, when you do these reactions, you don't use just any primary halide. We'll do this reaction on a primary halide that bears a leaving group. Um, I mean, of course it bears a leaving group. It bears an electron withdrawing group is what, I'm, what I mean to say. So we might do something like this. Maybe an alpha chloroester. And so esters are electron withdrawing groups with that carbonyl. And so when we do our reaction, when we make our phosphonate ester, we get something that looks like this. Doesn't have to be this ethyl ester, but some kind of electron withdrawing group, nitro groups, nitriles, all these classic electron withdrawing groups, often good meta directors in the electrophilic aromatic substitution. So I said, we, we gotta use a primary halide, and that is true. But the neat thing about this is what we can do is we can then treat this with base and I'm going to use specifically uh, sodium ethoxide for this because we have to match our ester to, um, to our base. So O-ethyl for our base matches our O-ethyl for our ester. And actually, this is a good base. It's going to deprotonate. I'm not going to draw the intermediate, but what we're going to do is we're going to deprotonate one of these hydrogens because that hydrogen is between two strong electron withdrawing groups now. And then we can treat this with any other alkyl halide. And so we make a carbanion. It's basically an enolate. It then attacks our SN2 electrophile. And we can put other groups on here. So Yes, it's a limitation. You can only do primary halides. But if you use the groups that people typically do, which is where R is an electron withdrawing group, then once you make your 
phosphonate ester through the Arbuzov reaction, you can easily deprotonate it and add any other groups that you want to. So it, it's a limitation you have to use a primary halide, but the products you get can easily, we can easily add on other groups. So it's not that big of a limitation. So this is the Arbuzov reaction.